What's going on YouTube? You can't see me 8282. Just with a video for you guys today. I've had several requests for this. Uh, comments left. Questions asked where I get my theme from and how to get it on the iPhone. Uh, this is on my iPhone 4. Uh, basically, it is a great theme. Uh, as you can see, it has the city, the weather icon, uh, what the temperature is, the highs and lows for the day, and the date and a live clock. Uh, it is a great theme. However, it does take some time to go ahead and set up. Basically, I'll try to give you the rundown as quick as I can. I might have to make a part one and part two to this video because it does take uh, quite a while. All right, basically, you're going to need some things um, that are mandatory. First of all is, of course, the HTC theme. So what you're going to want to do is go into Cydia and let Cydia reload its data. Once it's done, you are going to go down to the bottom right hand corner and click search. Once you get the search bar up, you're going to type in HTCFX. That is the main theme to get you the uh, Android looking theme. <laughs> Alright, so let's let City reload its data. Go down, search, and in the top we are going to type in HTC space fx and go ahead and hit search if nothing shows up here sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't just go ahead and hit search all right click on F htc fx when you see it top right hand corner to install top right hand corner to confirm and you got that done um, the diamond shape icons that i have on my screen uh, these come from casio 2 now if you want these, go ahead and Cydia, go back to Cydia once again and you're going to search for Casio 2. Casio, space, and then a 2. And like I said before, if nothing shows up, go ahead and click on the search anyway. It will pop up, I promise you. So Casio 2, search, there it is. Same thing, top right hand corner to install, same again to confirm it. So now you have the two themes done. Now this is very important. You will need this so your icons uh, aren't covering the clock and the date and the weather. Basically you need iBlank. So once you have iBlank installed, which is also in Cydia, you're going to go ahead and click on iBlank. Now, if you do want the Casio 2, the, uh, the diamond icons, I recommend that you only make eight uh, blank icons for your first page or your second page or however many, um, because it does give it a smooth uh, flow, even though you're not covering anything up. So eight if you have the Casio 2. If not, the factory Apple icons are a little bit bigger, so I would recommend go ahead and making 12 blank icons. Now once you have made the blank icons, uh, go ahead into wiggle mode, I guess it's called. And as you can see, I have eight blank icons up here. And as I said before, the Casio icons are much smaller than Apple's. So I only put eight on the first page. Um, I will tell you, you will also need five icon dock for your dock down here. And you're going to put a blank icon on the dock, one right there and one right there. So that way you have access to Safari, the phone, and your email. And all these are not jumbled up. You will actually have the spaces in between. Now as you can see here on my third page, I have installed uh, 12 blank icons. Just for the simple fact that this is my folder page. And yeah. So, now that you have your themes installed, you have your blank icons installed, um, you're going to want to go into your winter board. So, let's go into winter board, and before you go, uh, you know, tapping every theme that you have, first, what I want you to do is go to the HTC FX and click on that. Go ahead and let it respring, and... Uh, slide to unlock and if you've placed your icons or your blank I excuse me I blank icons right you should have the time um, the date 
the temperature highs, lows, and your city. However, the city is not going to be correct unless you live in New York. I think it starts yet. So what do you do now? Basically, this is why you need your iFile. Uh, you need a lot of things for your iFile. Basically, it gives you a way to access the system strings, to change and rewrite things, um, yeah, to your desired effect. Now, another method of this is SSH for Windows. It's WinSCP for uh, for Mac. I think it's CyberDuck. If uh, if you don't want to use WinSCP or CyberDuck or even iFile, uh, I would recommend that you download iFunBox. Basically. It will let you do the same thing, uh, access all the files, all the strings in your phone. Um, basically all you do that's different is you plug your phone up to your Mac or PC and go from there. So let's go ahead and get into the iFile. Now what you're going to want to do, let me get back all the way here. When you first get into iFile or your SSH client or iPhone box, uh, you're going to want to click on um, the VAR. So basically, if you are in iPhone box, you're going to want to click on, of course, your phone's name, and uh, it will have raw system file. That is where you need to be, is in your raw system file. If you're just SSHing or if you're using iFile, just backspace until you get to this, which is the applications bin, boot cores, and all that. Scroll down to you see VAR. So you're going to go into the VAR. And you're going to scroll until you see stash, get into your stash, and you're going to scroll down to your themes. Now, go in first to your HTC FX themes. This is going to be where you can change your city, state, and your weather, of course. So go into private, then configureme.js. Now, once you're in here, as you can see in the top left-hand corner, there is an edit button. Go ahead, click edit. And let me see if I can zoom on this. Where right here, where it says var locale, this is where you're going to edit where you are. Like I said, I think it starts you out in New York. So go ahead and hold there. And all right, you're going to backspace um, the state and type in the abbreviation for your state. Go hold here and backspace. Uh, until you get to the uh, comma, or excuse me, the apostrophe, and type in your city. Once you have that, just click done, save, and done again. And you have successfully changed your city, state, and weather. Now, automatically, it's not going to show up right offhand. What you're going to want to need to do is, if you have SB settings, go ahead and do a respring. If you don't have SB settings, Go into Winterboard and uncheck something, check it back, hit the home button, let it respring, or simply just power it off, power it back on, and just do a reboot. And once it boots back up, you slide to unlock, you will see your city, uh, whatever the weather conditions are, the temperature, the date, the highs and lows for the day, which is really cool. Um, now, next thing is the, uh, the icon shadows. Now, I will tell you, there is a package uh, in Cydia for the eye blank. I think it's called No Shadows, something like that. Um, this will eliminate, or should, or is supposed to eliminate, the icon shadows that Apple has on the springboard. However, you can eliminate those yourself. Just uh, simply, when I did it, I used um, iFunBox. So I used iPhone box. I went into the core, what was it, uh, core systems, systems, cores, whatever, and uh, basically deleted, or actually copied everything from the, uh, the phone to my desktop just in case, so I would have it just in case anything went wrong. So basically, uh, we have the one theme done. We're going on nine minutes, uh, almost ten minute video here. So I'm, I'm going to make a part two to this. So be sure to stay tuned. If you haven't already, click up top at the subscribe button. And you will be uh, updated on part two to this video. So just to recap everything, main things you need is HTCFX. That's the theme. You need eye blank to create your, eye, your blank icons. So you can see your date, your time, your weather, 
in the live clock, um, iFile, or uh, Cyberduck, WinSCP, or iFunbox, so you can SSH into your device to change the, um, yeah, change your location and your weather. And if you want the diamond icons, Casio 2 is where you find that. Alright guys, that's it for part one. Go ahead and uh, thumb it up. Leave me some comments down below. And as always, click on the subscribe button. And be sure to stay tuned for part two. I should, that, I should have that video up tomorrow. If not tomorrow, the next day. Alright guys, you can't see me 8282. I'll catch you guys later.